Hey everyone, CTN Technology News here, and today I am taking a look at Microsoft Office for the iPad, something that Microsoft just unveiled today, and it actually looks pretty cool. So what Microsoft has done is they've actually brought Word, Excel, and PowerPoint to the Apple's iPads, the iPad Mini and the iPad Air, uh, in three separate apps that you can download separately, or you can just download them all, all, all at once. Either way, it's actually pretty cool if you have an Office 365 subscription. So, like the iPhone version of Microsoft Office that Microsoft released earlier, uh, this does require a subscription to Office 365 that does cost a fair bit monthly. So, if you already have that subscription, getting these apps is a no-brainer. But, if you don't already have Microsoft Office running on something or other, it might not be worth to getting Microsoft Office. Now, if you do have the money, Microsoft Office is actually really amazing. Word, in particular, looks absolutely spectacular. It's it's got a whole bunch of ability to, to do lots of things to your documents, and while it's not quite as fancy as the desktop version, it still does have a lot of things you can do. PowerPoint also, which I'm showing here, looks really cool as well. Uh, right now, this is just the read-only version of Microsoft Office, which you get if you don't have an Office 365 subscription. It does give you the ability to look at things other people have done, so look at other people's documents, slideshows, and spreadsheets, but it doesn't give you the ability to actually change them yourself. If you do have the Office 365 subscription, you can do a lot of things to your spreadsheet sheets, PowerPoint presentations, and Word documents. It doesn't have quite as many options as the desktop version like I already said, but what it does have, it's definitely enough to get you through editing on the go. Now, I would really say that Microsoft Office for the iPad is a great choice if you already have an Office 365 subscription. If you don't, you might be better off just going with Apple's alternative, you know, key Keynote, Pages, and Numbers, because that only costs like $10, and it also comes free on new iPads, so it's a, it's, a, it's a much better deal overall for people who already have an Apple iPad. But, you know, let me know what you think in the comments below. Please be sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video, and I will see you next time. Bye!